Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's presentation on application modernization journey at SuccessFactors. Quick introduction, DV Divakarla, Chief Architect of SuccessFactors in the CTO office running application and platform modernization. I'm joined here by Saju and Sudhakar. Saju, can you introduce yourself? Hi, everyone. I am Saju Ipan, Engineering Director and Cluster Lead for SuccessFactors recruiting team. Hi, everyone. I'm Sudhakar. I'm the project manager and the lead for modularization project for SuccessFactors recruiting. Thank you, Saju and Sudhakar. Just before we get started, let's quickly look at the agenda today. The first thing I'm going to walk through the SAP Success Factors application modernization strategy and journey. After that, Saju and Sudhakar are going to walk us through the application modernization for recruiting, some of the architectural overview, the modernization journey, and some of the challenges that we faced and how did we go about solving those challenges. So let's get started. At Success Factors, we are committed to delivering the best of the breed capabilities for our HXM suite. To enable the capabilities for our customers, we are on a journey in a big way to modernize our applications and platform technologies and services. At the core of the foundation is our state-of-the-art cloud infrastructure. Our strong cloud native approach has an opened up huge opportunities to not only build the right capabilities, but also provide much higher scalability, availability, performance, and resilience in our systems. Adding to this cloud infrastructure in the next layer of deliverables, a highly scalable microservices architecture, business and data intelligence, and enterprise grade security. The microservices architecture enables independent capabilities based domain ca uh, capabilities uh, and business services. This allows us to build capabilities faster, better, and higher customer agility. The next thing that we are doing is to deliver the data and the business intelligence that increases organizational productivity, reduces some of the manual repetitive work, and builds recommendation for the users. Our foundation to strong enterprise security ensures our customer data is well protected. This holistic embedded approach enables strong security across our systems end to end. With this underpinning, let's now look at some of the strategies in providing rich set of varied interfaces through application modernization. First in our approach is API as a product. At the heart of the API modernization, all capabilities are exposed with well-defined domain-based purpose-built APIs, much richer than the current APIs. These rich API interfaces will not only empower our experiences, but also allow our customers and partners to build custom extensions to our systems based on the customer needs or integrate with their internal systems. The API will be built with high level of discoverability and ease of use. Next one, the API and the data streaming approach we are building will solve the customer pain points of integrating with critical HR data. The data streaming will help our customers to integrate with their enterprise data systems much faster and avoids the delays in getting the data. It reduces the data latencies and it also pro provides a declarative way of streaming information back to the enterprise systems in a much more easier fashion. 
This will also help in providing our customers with holistic data seamlessly. Next stop, our rich experiences by using the strong underlying APIs will provide an easy and highly performant UI. When I'm talking of rich experiences, I'm not just talking of web experience, it is delivering experiences on multiple devices and multiple channels. Web, mobile, wearables, messaging channels, work zone, my home, and many others. And finally, the no-code tool to build your experiences. We understand some of the customer requirements to build intelligent automations and experiences customized to the enterprise. Our no-code tools allow you to just do that backed by the same set of APIs we discussed before. It delivers a way to innovate faster in your enterprise without the need for large development teams to bring all this together. That means you can bring the tools together, show what works, what does not work, and iterate those changes in an agile fashion. It provides you the flexibility and a faster time for implementation. With that background now, we would like to showcase an example of modernization journey underway in our recruiting. Saju, I'd like to hand over to you for us to take us through the recruiting journey there. Thank you, Divi. As Divi gave an overall picture about modernization strategy, now let me walk you through the actual journey on how we have achieved the recruiting modernization in HXM. Success Factors HXM Suit is a very big application with 15 modules, 9,000 customers, and deployment in 20 plus TCs. These modules are tightly integrated to each other. So when we embarked the journey and informed my team, the first thing the team asked was, hey, is it really possible? People were doubtful and afraid since the chances of failure was high due to many unknowns. Based on the analysis, team realized, even though the journey is not easy and indeed tough, but if we could do it, then there would be a lot of advantage for everyone. This injected a good enthusiasm in the team, and they knew that they are not only solving the organization problem, but also they are solving their own problems like reducing significantly the long build hour time. So as a first step, we listed out all our pain points, challenges, and the pile of technical debts. And then we found out that in order to separate, recruiting would require multiple module teams to remove the dependencies. So this became our first mission objective to introduce a layered architecture. Some of the immediate benefits were if we could separate recruiting module from HXM monolith and run as an independent service, we could definitely provide better service to our customers and also ease out DevOps overhead. This helps our engineers to deliver the feature faster as well. So as part of this journey, we started rebuilding recruiting service and deployed the image to run on containers and also ensured the service scales better by leveraging the elastic infrastructure. This in turn reduced complexity with clear decoupling to other modules and improved integrations with rich internal APIs. Now, being an individual service, we could reach faster to our customers. We built better monitoring tools with notification system and made operations easier with bare minimum manual interventions. Also, we are improving our service day by day by following all cloud native principles, which brings speed, Agility, dynamic scale out, and automatic handling of failures. On a parallel track, we worked on reimagining recruiting service and has come up with innovations in application workbench with rich user experience. This includes lightning fast search capability with improved filters and facets. For example, we have now a rich experience of filtering the application based on the content of resume and cover letter. 
We decomposed applicant use cases into a highly scalable services as well. We thought through all the use cases and followed an event-driven approach. The new search is providing multiple dimensions of filtering, which could be configured at company level from customer's end, which ultimately helps the hiring managers and recruiters to identify the right fit for a particular job. So in order to achieve the mission objectives, we simplify compile time dependency, introduce multiple layers via platform libraries and platform utilities, introduce simplifications in the module integration via API and events, improved user experiences wherever possible, introduce cloud native principles and containerize the service. Divi, do you have a comment here? Yeah, all the things that Saju talked about, for example, the enterprise eventing systems, the search capabilities, the containerization, and many others are not just for recruiting. We are doing this journey across success factors. Back to you, Sajan. Now let me talk about the value proposition of this modernization. This will benefit various users like customers, operations, and developers. Now customers get benefited with faster feature releases. Being an independent internal service, we got to achieve this feat. We have followed the design principle called low coupling when it comes to integration with other modules. We built microservice, which could be embedded into the existing solutions so that customers start getting value by using our new application search API microservice when searching for job applications. This is how we deliver innovations into the existing solutions. So the customer benefits are ability to manage customer specific hours, multiple build cycles in alignment to success factor strategy of frequent deployments and also improve user experiences. Now, how will it benefit operations? Operations are made easier and stress-free with our highly resilient recruiting service with zero service outages. Better performance due to auto scalability and readiness to deploy on a data center in a short span of time. In a checksum suit, a lot of responsibility was with ops. With recruiting modernization, DevOps model is improved and some of the responsibilities shifted to developers, which ensures better DevOps model and a good collaboration. Also for our developers, a well modernized code really helps them to understand, maintain and take complete ownership of each component. It also ensures the delivery of quality outcomes in less time. This really brings in high throughput on overall development, which means a better developer productivity. Well, if you see here, recruiting is one of the top three module in HXM suit and definitely a complex module. We have more than 4,000 customers and still counting. Our largest EUDC hosts 800 plus recruiting customers. It was a complicated task to separate a very tightly coupled recruiting module, which was part of monolith code base into a well modularized multiple code repositories. Post-modernization, recruiting module deployment footprint is reduced to 700 MB and size of the overall code base is reduced now to around 1 million. It was not an easy task for the developers to modify thousands of files covering 1 million plus lines of code and ensuring zero customer defect as well as minimal impact on the planned six month release cycles. At the same time, we had to ensure that our changes were not impacting other modules like Core HR, onboarding, and other HXM modules, since the same code was, was used in the scheduled releases. And yes, we are the trailblazers for such a feat within the suit. Sudhakar, over to you now for architecture overview. Thanks, Saju. Yeah, I still remember when Saju came to me and asked about the initiative to address huge technical debts. And I followed discussion with architects to solve this by carving recruiting module from HXM suite. At first, I was perplexed due to the complexity involved and where to start from. I would like to give a, a glimpse of the architecture for the new recruiting service. We at first understood the current architecture and the identified all the compile time and runtime dependencies with other modules. We had developed a tool which lists compile time dependencies reported using the Java JDEPS command. 
based on this list, we started our analysis and decided to decouple the module code from the monolith code base, either by introducing internal APIs or through new shared libraries or through even based approach. But the challenge was not to break the existing functionality and the integration with other modules. We realized current code had cyclic dependencies between core and common libraries, and it was tough to decouple. So we came up with a layered architecture where we reorganized recruiting core, common, and platform libraries into three layers and ensured that dependencies go only from top to bottom, that is, from core layer to the platform layer, and not vice versa. This way, the modular code could be maintainable in terms of reusability and for future enhancements. Finally, with a year of effort, we could see light at the end of the tunnel and gave us the confidence to go ahead and build the recruiting module separately and prepare for the deployment. We went ahead and to prepare the in containerized image, uh, which could be deployed easily under the Kubernetes paths and made it possible to scale horizontally based on demand. Then we got to face a new set of challenges, like uh, as a recruiting service is still behind the HXM module, um, and how do we route the recruiting specific traffic to the new service deployed on Kubernetes, which we solved by routing the recruiting traffic intelligently at the Nginx layer to the recruiting service running on Kubernetes. And another challenge was with managing the same user session, having HXM customers facing servers running on a VM cluster and the recruiting servers running on a Kubernetes. We solved it by enabling session affinity properties inside ingress configuration. One more challenge was with the database. Though recruiting service runs independently, we still connect to the same database of HXM. So we must be mindful whenever we make changes to the database schema. Now let me talk about modernizing recruiting product with a rich user experience by reimagining the most frequently used application workbench. In order to improve recruiter's experience with application workbench, we have introduced a new interface with enhanced search capability and faceting. The first microservice is responsible to understand the complex filters and provide the results at lightning speed. And the other two microservices are to take care of real-time data sync and to index existing customer data. This way, our revamped architecture helped us to achieve modularization goal in building a highly scalable service. DV, do you have anything uh, to add here? Absolutely. So just what Sudhakar described here, if we tie back to the first slide that we talked about, the API modernization, the eventing approach, the data streaming, the rich experiences, all tie back to what we are doing in recruiting. Back to you, Sudhakar. I would like to highlight on some of the improvements we brought with this architecture. As part of recruiting application modernization journey, we started the architectural improvements in two parallel tracks. One to make recruiting to run as an internal independent service and the other is to improve application performance along with rich UI. We applied cloud native principles to the recruiting service and the new service, new application uh, such microservices as well. The recruiting service runs as a mini lead service. We ensure to give high availability through better horizontal scaling on demand. This means our service will be better performant all the time with zero downtime. We had first identified all the integration scenarios which we could communicate it asynchronously via event-based approach. A major code refactoring helped us to own, maintain a well-modelized code and started realizing many benefits in the engineering space and the sustenance part. The decision to run recruiting independently helped us to build a reliable service with zero downtime deployments and making our pathway closer to the continuous delivery to the customers. We introduced robust monitoring and notification system to help operations to maintain the service better. Hence, the overall operational maintenance has become simple and easy. So Let's now look at the different phases of this journey. So what were the traceable requirements? Recruiting modernization journey started with a clear vision to make sure all our customers and developer community will benefit immensely. So we brainstormed on major pain points of customers, operations, and developers, and then started adding the requirements to the project charter. And also ranked all the requirements to start with planning and execution. For this, 
multiple teams started working on the focus tasks derived as part of the work breakdown structure. With a well-planned communication and coordination with the teams, we were able to connect the dots during the project execution phase. Embracing the technology was the major challenge to make sure the right technologies adopted at right time during this time, of, during this journey, and also make sure our customers are least disrupted. Another important phase was to have the right testing strategy. As we were working in the production code, this was very critical and important to plan all our tests strategically in all our internal environments to make sure there is zero regression and nothing breaks during the production deployment. So we had multiple environments which promoted the right builds and a dedicated performance testing environment to conclude on the optimal specification for the service to run. And most importantly, we made sure Throughout the journey, we had enough automation runs to make give us the full confidence. Continuous delivery was our end goal to achieve. So we made sure that all critical feature changes are behind the toggle switch in order to mitigate the risk for our customers. So to sum up, throughout the life cycle, multiple tasks were running parallelly, an early understanding of the requirement and technology, deep planning and a testing strategy, all helped us to deliver the product smoothly. A complex product with a major changeover definitely comes with tough challenges. And we believed in the philosophy that challenges come to us to make us better and not bitter. Here are the few things which we fought for. Seamless release of recruiting modernization to customer with no risk, irrespective of architectural transformation under the technical hood. Another challenge was to provide one application UI experience to the users. Even though modules run as independent services along with addition of new microservices. With architectural changes, we made our service inch closer to the stateless, which brought in huge efforts and challenges as we were breaking out from monolith. We wanted to make sure all our 4,000 plus customers should have a consistent data migration during the release rollouts. It took many training sessions from experts to make the transformation consistent to bring the DevOps mindset. Since multiple teams were involved, it was inevitable that each team takes the complete end-to-end -end ownership of understanding the requirement and the execution. It was necessary to take inputs from multiple stakeholders, making sure faster decision with intended result so that project delivery is not impacted. We also made sure that each team member continuously learned to develop rich cloud native application during the entire product life cycle. So transformation was our motto for each team member. Divi, back to you. With that, it brings us to the end of this session. I we would highly encourage all of you to continue attending other tech ed sessions and continue your learning. Thank you from all of us uh, and have a great, great tech ed sessions. Thank you.